At this point, Disney and Lucasfilm need to stop playing coy and finally bring back the Jedi that we all know is alive, Mace Windu. I mean, Sam Jackson is not getting any younger, guys. Let's write up that contract, let's do it in secret, although I think they already did, and bring back our beloved purple lightsaber Jedi Master. What's up, guys? Bessie here from Star Wars Comics, and today we're talking about the most beautiful thing that happened during last week regarding our favorite character, Mace Windu. So there might have been some of you who missed it, but on IG, on Instagram, the official Star Wars page congratulated Samuel L. Jackson on his birthday. It was a week ago, December 21st, and what they said is really, really crazy. They're not even hiding it anymore, I think. And knowing how they kept the Obi-Wan series secret with Ewan McGregor and now Hayden Christensen too, all these things come together to conclude that I think Samuel L. Jackson is probably going to make a cameo really, really soon on a bunch of series that are coming. 2021 and 2022. So the caption on this post reads, this party isn't over. It's just the beginning. Sending a very happy birthday to Samuel L. Jackson. Again, this is the official Star Wars page saying that the party isn't over. It's just beginning for Samuel L. Jackson. I've never seen these accounts and these content creators say something they did not mean or put out just vague statements like that. We've seen this before. We've seen it with Ewan McGregor. We've seen it with Hayden Christensen. All these small tidbits and leaks lead to somewhere, and I think that this is the first step into bringing back Samuel L. Jackson into the Star Wars fold. And man, what a time it's been just to be a Star Wars fan because these coming years, it will be Star Wars all day, every day. And if you think they're just trolling, well, we have big reasons to believe that Mace Windu is still alive. If you're a new Star Wars fan, you would be enticed to go and check out the Mace Windu versus Sidious scene where supposedly Mace Windu dies. You see, just as Mace Windu is getting ready to strike Sidious once and for all and ruin the Sith's party. It is Anakin who betrays the Jedi, cuts off Windu's hand, and Sidious takes over afterwards, electrocuting him out of the window. But what happens first is that Windu drops his lightsaber. This is why I think that lightsaber might not make a comeback, because supposedly they did not land on the same spot. The lightsaber fell off very near the building and seconds prior, but Mace Windu was hurled away at a very long distance. Whatever the case may be, the official death of Mace Windu was never really confirmed in canon. We don't know if he actually died. There was no body confirmed, and so far, trust me, I've lurked around every comic book. There is nothing to indicate in any series that Mace Windu's body was found and buried or destroyed, whatever the case may be. They did not even hint at that. Therefore, we have many, many excuses to believe that Mace Windu is still alive, and since Disney and Lucasfilm are keeping quiet about this, and with the recent IG post, I mean, is there any doubt anymore? Mace Windu is coming back. So let's talk about what series might actually bring him back to the Star Wars family. In my opinion, and in my thoughts, of course you can talk to me down below in the comments, but in my opinion, four series are the most major ones that could bring back Mace Windu. These four are the Bad Batch, the Andor series, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, and the Book of Boba Fett. We could include The Mandalorian Season 3, but since that is ways away and probably won't make much sense in him coming back there, I won't include The Mandalorian Season 3 in this list. And if you're thinking the Ahsoka series, that series won't be released for a long time. So, in my wishes, I really don't want to wait that long. And again, I wouldn't like for Mace Windu to come back to Ahsoka's show. At least, that's my opinion. I'm going to divide this list into most unlikely and very likely. Both of these lists have two shows on them. Let's start with the most unlikely series that could present Mace Windu in canon again. These two series are the Bad Batch and the Andor series. I don't want to make any definitive statements for you guys to come back a year later and mock me, but I really don't think Mace Windu would make a cameo in The Bad Batch. While Mace Windu is a very prominent character in the Clone Wars series, and The Bad Batch is basically a continuation of that, there is no reason for us to believe that The Bad Batch could possibly run into our beloved Jedi Master. The Andor series is most likely the same way. Cassian Andor has virtually no 
no connection whatsoever to Mace Windu. That series has practically nothing to do with the Jedi, similar to how Rogue One was as well. So these two series do not make sense for Mace Windu to make his final great comeback. What I think, or what I would believe, in fact, if somebody would have told me, is that these two series, the Bad Batch and the Andor series, could present a hint or a clue to Windu's survival. That I would believe, especially the Bad Batch series, since they are now in the Imperial era after Order 66, and Mace Windu has just survived his kerfuffle with Palpatine. Throughout his injuries, he might have just escaped and realized that the Jedi Order has now fallen and that the Empire is hunting down every Jedi. His injuries are fresh. If we get a hint or a clue that he is alive, that's all we ask for. That would be a perfect setup for the most likely series to present Mace Windu as alive in canon. These two most likely series are of course the Obi-Wan series and the Book of Boba Fett. Now we're getting the juices rolling because the Obi-Wan series has clear connections to Mace Windu as well as the Book of Boba Fett since Boba Fett's father was killed at the hands of Mace Windu in the arena on Geonosis. Boba in fact in the Clone Wars series tried to assassinate Mace Windu afterwards, so there's a clear connection there between those two shows. The Obi-Wan series is a very tough one because after cancellations, after script or revisals, they went through a lot of turmoil during the development of that series and it was revealed that it was a six episode arc and then to make matters worse, they reduced it to a four episode arc afterwards. So this leads us to believe that the time span is very short in that series or at least the time duration of the episodes would likely be one hour or less. These are very compact episodes. Everything needs to happen quickly and have an impact. One possible explanation to Mace Windu's return in the Obi-Wan series could be related to old Ben Kenobi leaving Tatooine with Mace Windu. It could be possible that Mace Windu tracks down Ben Kenobi, or as he knows him, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and explains that there is a grave mission they need to adhere to something possibly with Darth Vader and the Empire. Since we already know, the show probably won't, won't take place on Tatooine at all times. Obi-Wan needs to go off-world and leave Luke Skywalker for a short amount of time. Of course, the original trilogy shows us that they will ultimately fail. If Mace Windu remains alive after the Obi-Wan series, he will be angry and vengeful. He will remain a bitter old man to the end. And that is if he survive, if he's not killed while Obi-Wan will just fold back to Tatooine, living as an old hermit, having both failed at their mission. And now we've come to the Book of Boba Fett. We've seen the Mandalorian series keep a tight lid on things. Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are masters at that, and they have proven it time and time again. They proved it with Grogu, with Baby Yoda. In the first episode, we had no idea what was in store for us, and in the end, we were revealed to have a Baby Yoda in our midst. The internet went ablaze, everybody went crazy, but nobody had an idea beforehand. And they did it again in this season with the finale. Season 2 showed that Luke Skywalker came back to take Grogu for training. Nobody leaked, nobody said a word beforehand. So they are proven, and, and I believe that if there's a show that could keep a secret that Mace Windu is coming back, it would be the book of Boba Fett, since the same crew is heading that series as well from The Mandalorian. His return there, of course, would be related related to Boba Fett himself. Boba Fett now helming the throne of the Huts has the enormous resources that nobody really could achieve. And in doing that, he might get news of a Jedi he has sought for his entire life. He has personal vendetta against this person and this is Mace Windu. If there's a time for Mace Windu to come back, it would be in this series. Boba Fett against his old nemesis Mace Windu, the person who killed his father. This would be the ultimate showdown. We've always seen Jedi versus Sith, but a Jedi Master against a supreme bounty hunter, I think this would be the ultimate showdown that we have so waited. These are my thoughts, of course. I would love to know what do you guys think as well about all that I said. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.